In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a turn lock into any handbag. Today, I am working with a duplicity handbag. Um, this is the slip pocket um, on the bag, and I will be using this rose gold turn lock that's available for purchase on my website at sewyours.com. I also have them available in a nickel, gunmetal, and light gold. Um, with your purchase, you're going to get three parts to the turn lock, the front, back, and the actual turn lock itself. You're also going to get a washer, which, which is going to go here with the turn lock. You're going to get two screws that pair with this turn lock right here. And this is going to be the larger of the four screws that you're, you're going to get. You're also going to get two additional screws that are going to go with this uh, piece right here. They're going to be the smaller of the screws and they are going to match the finish of your turn lock. If you're getting the nickel turn lock, look for the two smaller screws to pair up with this piece right here. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and uh, pre-punched my hole. I went ahead and did that with a die. I purchased this uh, die set on Amazon, relatively cheap. I'll put a link in the description box below, as well as all of these other items that you're gonna need in order to do this. Now, you don't need the die. Um, I did use this in conjunction with my rivet press. Uh, you could also use this with a, um, hammer as well if you'd like and then um, you could alternatively just use a uh, exacto knife which I have my Cricut exacto knife here and I am going to use this or perhaps my scissors to continue cutting a little bit more this is just kind of what I started cutting out to show you I also went ahead and marked with my sew line air erasable pen the holes right here for the screws and I just pre-punched those. Those are kind of just giving me um, a guide where, where I'm going to continue cutting a little bit more off here in a moment, and you'll see that. Um, but I use this Chinese hole punch to do that. Um, you can also use a friction pen. I have my friction pen here. Um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver that's going to work with the screws. Um, some fray check, optional. I did go ahead and add some fray check already um, to this piece uh, so that the cotton doesn't fray. Uh, I don't like to punch anything on my um, cutting mat right here. I use these Dollar Tree cutting mats um, to protect my surface, so I have that. And let's go ahead now, and we're gonna go ahead and continue cutting. So basically, let me show you here with my pen. What I'm gonna do off camera here is I'm just gonna connect the um, holes that I've drawn with the rectangle here. And then I'm gonna use my scissors to go ahead and cut that extra piece right here out. So I'll get that done. All right, here you can see that I went ahead and continued cutting um, to match up to the screw marks here. The next thing that you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and grab the front portion of your turn lock and place it over top, flip that over. And I did also add a little bit more fray check um, with the new cuts that I went ahead and did. Then you're gonna go ahead and place this portion of your turn lock, which is the backing. You want the textured side up like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and get your two screws that correspond with the finish of your turn lock or the smaller screws. And I'm gonna take my screwdriver and just go ahead and install this, which I'll do off camera because it's a little hard to do from reaching over across the table. All right, I've got that now screwed in. And I don't believe I mentioned earlier, um, but I chose to have my placement one inch down from the center of my slip pocket here. Now we are going to go ahead and install the other portion to the exterior front of our bag. I've got the exterior front of my duplicity. I have already gone ahead and taken my slip pocket, um, made sure that the bottom center was matched up. Um, and the bottom edges right here, clipped it into place. I have also gone ahead and added the turn lock portion here. It's just sitting on my fabric right now. And the way that I determine um, my placement for this piece is I have it all lined up just like this. And then I carefully lift this up and out of the way without moving the actual turn lock itself. And I make my markings with my friction pen so I just go ahead and trace along the outside, which I did. And then I come in and I get this centered, the washer centered over here and make my markings for the screws itself. From here, what I wanna do 
is grab the um, other uh, cutting mat right there, grab my Chinese hole punch, and I'm going to go ahead and punch my holes. Okay, and now what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and flip this over so we can remove this for right now. Oops, so it's out of the way. And put our washer here in place and get our screws. And I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this in off camera. So I'm gonna push those into the holes. Flip this back right here. And I'm just kind of pushing the fabric down around the screws. Okay, and then you're gonna grab this portion. You can see the two holes there. We're gonna get this lined up and off camera, like I said, I'll go ahead and screw this in. All right, I have now installed the back portion of my turn lock. So there you have it. And I also didn't mention it, but I used my friction pen at the back side, basically the eraser, before I went ahead and secured this and erased my pen marks. So you don't see that at all. So now that's complete. So that is how you install a turn lock into any bag. Now you're just gonna go ahead and continue with your pattern as it's written.